I've been telling myself that my morning and evening meditations rituals are not important and therefore I've been avoiding them. I know that this is not true, but I find it difficult to stay consistent. Any advice that you could give me? You bet. I want you to write this down. It's called hypnotic trance. Hypnotic trance. The world is in a hypnotic trance right now. And if you don't believe me, have you ever, for example, been on a public transport and noticed how people are kind of like a robot, automated? They're not really there. I mean, what I'm saying, they just stood there, like waiting, like on a bus or that tube, on the train. And they're just kind of like in their own world, automated, unconscious, sleeping awake. How many notice this? And one of the strongest hypnotic trances that's influencing our cult church today, especially in the Western world, is this trance, which is the need for instant gratification. And you notice how this trance is very strong. Because how many of you agree, we're living in a world today of instant messages, instant news, instant whatever, instant food. <laughs> yes, and this has created a dangerous game for us. Because it's, it was almost suggesting that we can have access to instant success. And so therefore, when something doesn't happen straight away, we feel like something's wrong with us. And we feel a little bit misery. And so we end up giving up. Again, our misery stems from us trying to avoid being miserable. You following so far? So Claudia, you don't love misery. That's a fact. <laughs> And perhaps your mind is falling in love with dopamine-inducing experiences. You know, we all know those things that tend to spark our dopamine. Maybe the kitten with little paws out on YouTube, right? Imagine a fluffy kitten right now. We, we know what, what it is that makes us feel a little bit pleasure. But the problem is, is because we got access to all of this every single day, it has created a dangerous game for us who want to actually evolve in this lifetime. Most of us are trapped. Right? We just want to avoid being miserable. That's why we never get to transcend. So Claudia, you've got to remind yourself this. It's easy to do what you're doing because everyone else is doing it. That's a fact. It's an easy route in life. You know, what's easy is doing what's easy. What's hard is doing what's hard. True, true. But when you do what's hard, then your life tends to get easier. But when you do what's something easy over and over again, your life tends to get harder. And if you don't believe me, look at people who tend to just do things within their comfort zone. They suffer. They struggle in their life. So Claudia, what you got to do is fall in love with the process. That's the process. And Claudia, what you're going through right now is a process for evolution. Think about this. What is the purpose of us human beings? Well, you can know what the purpose is by just look observing nature. How many of you agree? Nature has got a lot of clues in terms of how we must be as human beings. And one thing is true about nature is everything in nature is evolving. They're slowly evolving their DNA. Yes? It is that biological need for evolution that is within you as a human being right now as well. So your mind and body wants to evolve. Now, the way it's going to go about doing that, it's not going to be pretty. Right? You want this process to look very streamlined and perfect, straight line, yes? But life doesn't operate in a straight line, nor does your mind or body. Your mind or body just wants to do something, that way you change. And right now, one could say, Claudia, all of this mess that's happening is part of your evolution process that's designed to make you change something. So whatever you do, don't run away from this process. There's a reason why it's chaotic right now. From chaos comes a new and often better order. How many of you know what I'm saying? Because discontent and longing is the need as well as your, your actual signal, the sign from your intuition, you're meant for more. The problem is when people feel discontent and longing, they run away. They run away. You know that dissatisfaction? Oh, I, I should be doing this. Oh, why, am I, why is my ritual all over the place? Why didn't I do SMA? Most people think, oh no, you know what, I should just give up right now. That's what most people think. Not realizing that you have just given up and killed your dreams. And you'll get to perhaps the 80, the 90, the hundreds, wondering why do I feel like my life is full of regrets?